This is a video about ultrasound in the diagnosis of endometriosis, ABCDE. My name is Suzanne Johnson and I'm a gynaecologist from Southampton. So once you've found a retrocycal nodule, then we need to think, does it involve the posterior fornix and or the lower rectal wall? Here again is the, the, the uterus, the cervix is up there somewhere. Here we've got the vagina and I'm looking at this white area in the longitudinal view. This is all fibrosis. And here this retrocervical DIE is adherent to the posterior vaginal fornix and adherent to bowel. And you can see an ovary is stuck into this area uh, as well. Here we've got a nodule of deep infiltrating endometriosis, which is adherent to the posterior vaginal fornix and adherent to bowel and in involving bowel. And I'll show you that in a moment. There's the nodule of DIE at the torus. There is the attached but uh, not involved posterior vaginal fornix. And here is the bowel wall. And in the video, this is what that looks like. There's the probe going down the vagina into the posterior fornix. And there you can see a bowel nodule just there. see it's going down you can see some fibrosis and you can see the, the bowel nodule this would be lower rectum and in this video I'm just looking at the bowel nodule in a bit more detail we'll talk about those more in a moment there's the retrocervical nodule and it's attached to bowel and involving the bowel there is the nodule at the torus and you can look at the bowel nodule and you can see that the lumen there is quite narrow and the lumen there is much wider. And at laparoscopy, you can see here that there's bowel adherent to the torus. Here we can see some retrocervical DIE, which is adherent to the posterior fornix, but also involving it and adherent and involving uh, the bowel wall too. There is the posterior fornix DIE. There is the retrocervical nodule, and here is the bowel nodule in the lower bowel, lower rectum. And this is what that looks like on ultrasound. So the probe is in the posterior fornix. You can see there's a lump of DIE in the posterior fornix. You can see a nodule in the ligaments, and you can see a bowel nodule too. So when you're describing retrocervical DIE, DIE at the torus, you have to say, is it in the torus or maybe in the uterosacral ligaments or in all of them? And what does it extend onto? Does it in extend onto the posterior vaginal fornix? And is it maybe also involved with DIE? Does it extend onto the bowel? That would be lower rectum and or upper rectum. And is it only adherent, serosa, or is it involved, the muscularis layer of the bowel? Or any combination of the above, especially when people have had previous surgery. And that's it. Thank you very much.